we can't keep building horizontally, we have to think vertically. And we're proud that Governor Cox has given us the mandate to put this in place ahead of the Olympics. I'm Ben Winslow on Utah's Capitol Hill. The state is working closely with companies to experiment with something called advanced air mobility, and it could start happening within the next year. At Governor Spencer Cox's One Utah Summit in Cedar City, the crowd was shown a promotional video of Archer's Midnight Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft. 47G, an association of aerospace and defense companies in Utah, is pushing for advanced air mobility in the state. We're building this in partnership with UDOT, with the governor's office, with the Inland Port Authority, and with others, and we're excited for what this means in, Utah, in rural Utah. The head of 47G tells me they'll start experiments very soon. So the timing is that over the next year we're going to get a foundation laid for the development to start so we can go vertical. Once that happens, we'll be able to bring a certified aircraft into the state and then through the FAA certify flight. So it'll all happen and by the time the 2034 Olympics are here, We'll have operable routes that will help the, the world come and navigate Utah for the games. Stark says they're electric and quieter than typical aircraft. So better on the environment. No, no secret here, we have poor air quality, especially in the Salt Lake area. Utah's Department of Transportation has been involved in experiments with vertical takeoff and landing, like this one in Layton earlier this year. The plan is over the next six to eight months to select 10 sites in Utah to try it, focusing on both cargo and passenger transportation. There are 49 airports in uh, Utah. Airports can be modified and adjusted to support these vertical uh, aircraft operations. And so we'll probably start in that area and working in um, concert with UDOT. Uh, they're identifying those types of areas. Intermountain Healthcare and Walmart are already experimenting with delivery drones in Utah, but the head of 47G's Project Alta, which stands for Air Logistics Transportation Alliance, says people do have some concerns. Is that it needs to be safe? secure. A lot of people worry about the security of mm -hmm. these things as well and financially viable. So for years now, the Utah State Legislature's Transportation Committee has been laying the groundwork for advanced air mobility, passing laws governing airspace regulations and delivery drones. They've also been working on laws dealing with autonomous vehicles. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.